Hello there, it's a bitterly cold Saturday afternoon. I've come out for a sub zero bivy camp. I've got to try this army bivy and my new, my new small tarp in a frost. It's going to be bitterly cold, but I've just come up the bypass to some local woods. I'll uh, turn the thing round and show you my setup. So here's the woods, there's a stream. There's the stream. There's a fair few deer in here. There's me set up. I haven't used a ridge line, I've used two walking poles. The army bivvy's under there. I've got protection for me head. Obviously my feet at this end will be out. When I'm actually in it, my feet will be in the frost. But that's not a bother. Really looking forward to this one. We'll have a wonder and see what's about. Just having a walk around, exploring. I'm just at the other side of those woods. There's a farm up on the top. So I'll have to keep, keep the lights low. It's a lovely bit of woodland, isn't it? Nearly dark now as well. You don't see in the video. I've only bought a camping meal with me today. A couple of coffees and some porridge for me breakfast. No special. Yeah, I think the day have long gone. Frost is really hardening up now. You can see the frost starting to form on the tarp. Got me nice and cosy under there. I'm just having myself a brew. I've kept the top of the uh, bivy shut at the minute. I've got me mat under there as well to help. I've got me ex-ped mat inside the bivy. There's some sheltered spots under the trees over there, but I just fancy trying it out. In a bit of harsh weather. Looking forward to it. Just chilling out with a coffee. Just make myself a brew. Got my stove next to me. I've got my mittens. Nice warm mittens when it gets cold later. I've got gloves as well. I haven't blown my air bed up yet. I'll have to blow it up in a minute because uh, I'm just lying. I'm just lying on the uh, bivy and the foil mat at the night. I was thinking to myself, I'll blow the mat up when it's time to get in. <laughs> Using the pump sack will give me a bit of warmth, I think. You can see your breath. It's, it's really going to be a cold one tonight. I think it's minus three, minus four tonight. But uh, already I'm noticing there's a lot of frost under here already. But uh, I'm noticing if you, if you come out of the tarp, it's remarkably colder than under it, although the temperature's probably the same. You're not getting the same drop of cold on you. It's going to be a good little camp, just to try out the setup. Right, that's me ready to get me head down now. It's coming up to 10 o'clock. I've watched a few videos and what have you. But uh, just look at this frost. It's thick with ice. But uh, I'm nice and cosy. What I've noticed, I've had an experiment tonight. Obviously, this is my new small tarp setup, and uh, it's minus three tonight. But I've only brought the Rab Neutrino 400 Pro out. Now I think that goes down to minus two, minus three. So to keep my pack weight down, what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'll take my trousers off and put my thermal trousers on, but to save weight and use the lighter sleeping bag, I'll, I'll, uh, I'm going to try sleeping in the down jacket and my top. If it's not comfortable, it will be the big sleeping bag and thermal top and bottom, because normally I like my thermals because it lets you move around a bit more. I'm not really keen on sleeping 
in the clothes, but I'm going to give it a go tonight just to I'm experimenting with my pack weight and everything. But I'll show you my setup, it's just the normal it's uh, the X Ped mat, Rab 400 sleeping bag, and comfy pillar. And I'm on the uh, foil mat as well, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm nice and toasty at the minute, so I'll uh, I'll see you in the morning. I've got everything packed away over there in my bag. There's my, there's my rucksack there. My boots are there, but uh, I'm going to put them in a bag. So I'll uh, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's just coming up to eight o'clock. I've just had my first brew. It's nice and frosty outside. The inside of the tarp's solid with frost, but I've had a good night. I've got to say the Neutrino 400 just wasn't really warm enough for this weather. So the, the Ascent 1100 will be coming out next weekend or whenever our next camp. I was all right in the uh, damn jacket. I don't think it's as comfortable as wearing the thermals in a thicker bag. But it goes to prove you can carry less and manage. So I'm just experimenting really at the minute. <laughs> really had a nice uh, sleep, been great. My boots uh, are freezing cold, but whatever I'm in the bag's protected them. I'm surprised that the ground hasn't, hasn't really thawed much where I am. Whether it's this mat I'm sleeping on, I don't know. I thought the ground would have thawed a bit more, but uh, God knows how cold it was. Freezing. The hands are uh, cold now, but uh, I'll get packed up and uh, and we'll see. There's the bivy all covered in uh, snow and that. Oh, frost. Light dusting of snow in the night. Been an interesting camp. There's everything packed down. It'll be leave no trace as always. Nice bit of sun coming up in the clouds over there. Lovely waking up when it's like this. I'm gonna have a quick wander up the track to see if there's any deer about. I'll come back to it. I'm just having a wonder down this morning. I've just seen the tail end of a couple of deer, but uh, with the crunching of the ground and everything, I've got no chance. You'd have to like, lie quietly and stalk them out if you wanted to photograph. Walking heavy on the ground like this, which is not going to happen. But uh, I've had a look, that's the main thing. The cracking morning, bitterly cold. I'll just go across back over this stream. Can't get me soaking wet. Just jump across here. Ooh. Nearly 61 and plane jumping across streams and playing in the woods. It's great, isn't it? I love it. <laughs> just having fun. Harmless. I just love it out. Right, I'll go and get me stuff and I'm going to pack up. So I'm just going to end it there now. I'm just going to have a walk back, walk back up the bypass. There's no chance of seeing any more deer. I've spooked some walking around on the uh, ground. So we'll see you next time.